wait until you see these. One item, $34 paid for one item. The item sold for $650. So stay tuned for that one. But are you ready for this? Mm. Hey, this next one, you're going to love this. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Uh, T and I are going to be offering up a special treat to the people that took the time to share their bolos. Hey, bolo buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, we are going to talk about some big money bolos in this video. Um, but this video is going to be a little different. These items were all sourced at YouTube auctions. Can you actually find big money bolos on YouTube auctions? <laughs> the answer is absolutely. Wait until you see these. One item, $34 paid for one item. The item sold for $650. So stay tuned for that one. There's also an item that went for over $400. Just incredible finds at these YouTube auctions. Let's get started. All right. So the first item we're going to talk about, let me get my little photos pulled up here so I can run through these with you guys. So these items come from Donatella Bottolino and Auctions for You. And it's going to be kind of a mixture from both channels. So I will tell you which channel it came from. And I'm going to tell you about the big money bolos. And I'm going to tell you approximately what they paid for it. A lot of these items are purchased in lots, uh, reseller lots. So Donna calls them dibble boxes and uh, T calls them T-bulls. So um, it's basically a reseller box. So auctions for you and Donatella Bottolino, I will have them linked down below. Definitely go and check out their channels, subscribe to them. They do have some other content, but mostly they're almost live on one of the channels every single day. So um, if you're looking to source, it's a great place. So the first item we're going to talk about is this 23 inch My Twin doll from 1997. Um, she has, well, I'm just going to show you a picture of her. She doesn't have a name. So uh, she sold for $85. The next item is another My Twin doll. And you're going to see some dolls right now because auctions for you picked out, um, it was an estate, I uh, I don't know if it was an estate. It was some sort of buyout of all these dolls. And I'm telling you, I have not seen so many incredible dolls ever, ever. I mean, they were all amazing. And um, she did some wholesale uh, where people did some wholesale buyouts from her. She auctioned them on her channel, um, but just incredible items. So these, uh, she did a four doll bundle from auctions for you. She paid $20 each for these dolls. So you saw the first one. This is the second one. It's another My Twin doll. So if you ever see these My Twin dolls, definitely uh, look them up. This one here sold for $110. This is another one. It is a retired My Twin doll. And this is what she looks like. And she sold for $130. This next one sold for $80. And we're going to move on from the My Twin dolls. But definitely, definitely, definitely be on the lookout for these type of dolls. They are definitely a bolo. But are you ready for this? Mm. Oh, my goodness. She got this from Auctions for You. It's another doll. This is um, Zo Zoilia. Z-O-L-I-A. I'm probably really saying that wrong. Zoilia and Henry. Oh, boy. Zawrowinski. And her name is Anika. She's a 32-inch porcelain doll, and I would not want to ship that. Um, she is stunning. Look at her. She's stunning. Um, she purchased this from Auctions for You for $44 and sold it on eBay for $450. Ah! That is incredible. Okay, this next one, you're going to love this. This is a Hot Wheels Speed Machines Porsche. It's from 2009. It's in the original packaging here. And it looks like um, this came from a bundle 
of I think these types of cars because I've seen auctions for you do a lot of these and I'm kind of like they could go for money I suppose but <laughs> I don't know anything about these this one sold for $135 her cost of goods um, for the bundle broken down was approximately four dollars for this item so wow okay absolutely love this next one it is new old stock Football pencils. And they sold for $35.72. So um, Flippin' Hot Finds, who is a Bolo Buddies member, she picked these up from auctions for you in a bulk buy lot. And her cost of goods was approximately $2 for these. And I'm going to show you another set later on that she sold for even more from that same lot. So stay tuned for that. But this is what the pencils look like. Uh, this item here is a Billboard Hot 100 Pop Charts book. And wow, this one here was purchased from Auctions for You also. He paid $15 for this and he sold it for $140. Hi, I'm Christy. I go by Mom's Closets TX. I sell on eBay, Poshmark, Macari, and Depop. I sell just about anything that you would find in your mom's closet. So my bolo is something that combines a lot of things I love. It is a Disney t-shirt. It was Star Wars Disney t-shirt with this Ewoks graphic on the front. It was the Disney characters fashions tag. Um, that places it right around the late 80s, early 90s. It was a single stitch tee. It turned out to be a grail tee and it was sold at the Disney parks. I bought this from Donatella Bottolino. Um, she goes on with tea auctions for you. They have YouTube channels where they go back and forth and they do auctions. And I bought it for $34 from her. I thought I'd get, you know, maybe 150, 200 for the shirt, but after doing some research and getting some help, I found that it was worth a lot more. I put it up on eBay and I took a best offer of $650. So that's my bolo and it's one of my best finds yet. Hello everyone, it's Donna, Donatella Bottolino. Welcome back to my channel. Actually, it's Courtney's channel. I just wanna say thank you, thank you, thank you, Courtney, for always being such a great supporter and for doing this video. This is incredible. I just wanna tell you guys, I live in the Palm Beaches of Florida and I was an eBay seller for a really long time, but I decided about five years ago that I would start YouTube auctions and I sell treasures that I find in beautiful homes here in the Palm Beaches. I buy entire estates. I also buy storage units and I make it really easy for you because you can just sit in the comfort of your home, sit on your couch and buy inventory from me. I ship it. I offer free shipping in the United States and I pack up your things and send it right to your house so you can list it on eBay. I'm gonna take you down to my storage unit and show you what else I have. Right now, I'm at the reseller cottage. I have an entire home that I've dedicated just to my reselling business and that's where I am right now. But let's go down to the storage unit. All right. This necklace here is a Lee Wolf. Um, it's an artist signed uh, gold tone modernist necklace. Those are his keywords. And this is his photo right here. And this is from the 1980s. And he got this in a lot of jewelry from Donatella Bottolino's channel. And he sold this for $81. Sorry, I'm looking at the pictures on my phone and I'm looking at my notes over here. Um, I have never done a video like this. So I'm kind of like, back and forth. So I apologize, but I just had to get these bolos to you guys. All right. So Flippin' Hot Finds, um, she purchased a lot of figures or figurines from Donatella Bottolino's channel. She paid $45 for the lot. Okay. So this would be an example of a reseller lot. She said she has sold seven so far and she's already made $200 profit and has another ENS bird to sell. So the one I'm showing you right now is this Carl, maybe it's not ENS, Carl Inns. 
vintage uh, rare porcelain bird. This one here is a finch and it sold for $70. So definitely something I probably would have walked right past. And I got to give Donatella Bottolino much props for shipping this because it was in a lot of things. And look how delicate that little bird looks. Eee! That'd be scary to me. Okay. The next one came out of a lot of albums. So Auctions for You picked up 10,000, I believe she said, records from a DJ. So these are all like in pristine, like really, really, really taking care of good condition. I mean, the guy was a DJ, right? And she still has some left. So she is still currently selling these. And um, I believe that this one came out of that lot, but there were 35 albums $1.40 each is what it came to. And this is the Blue Oyster Cult Some Enchanted Evening 1978 record. And this sold for $40. So a hundred and I'm sorry, $1.40 into $40. So that's great. This next item is a WWF WWE Kane wrestling figure. And she picked up 24 pieces wrestling figures for $40 from auctions for you. And she sold this one figure for $47 and 75 cents. So um, definitely keep your eye out for wrestling figures. Some of them are bread and butter. Some of them are big money, um, but it all adds up, right? Here is another item that came from those seven um, items for $45. This one is a vintage Wedgwood Jasperware Blue Heart. It looks like it's a trinket box, as you can see here. And this item sold for $30 plus shipping. All right. Are you ready for more of the pencils? Oh, my goodness. These pencils. So, again, approximate cost of goods was $2 because she paid $35 for the entire lot. These football pencils are new old stock and they sold for $64.25. Oh, I love it when pencils sell for that and the buyer paid shipping. So that is awesome. All right. So you guys have all heard of Hermes, right? Ties, ties. They can do really, really well. Um, so this came from a necktie lot um, from auctions for you. She said uh, she has sold 20 out of the 30 ties so far. Um, I'm going to show you two current examples. This one right here sold for $40. It is a Hermes 100% silk necktie designer luxury red bluebirds on Vine, France. And I will say I'm surprised she didn't get more than 40 for that because some of those Hermes ties. Woo! And then here is the other one. This one is red, blue, green, geometric France. And it is also excellent use condition. So these are pre-owned ties. Um, $40 for that one as well. All right. You guys have heard me talk about this one before. If you watch my channel on a regular basis, this one was featured in a Bolo Buddies featured members video. And I love this one because Donatella Bottolino was doing a card lot, um, like a sports card lot. And Donna's known for throwing things in at the end as she's finishing up the auction and people are bidding. She'll just start throwing things in. Well, she threw in these um, Marilyn Monroe playing cards. She's like, I'll, I'll throw this in and I'll throw that in. And da, 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 da. well, those cards she threw in and sold for $200. Check it out. <laughs> Yeah, Marilyn Monroe cards. So pretty cool item there. Another item that was in that cart, cart, that lot, um, were these Spider-Man puffy stickers. Now, this is not a big money bolo, but it's kind of one of those like that just make you happy. Um, it's one that I love. They're puffy stickers. They're Spider-Man puffy stickers. Stickers. How cool is that? $25. Uh, and the buyer paid shipping. So that is fantastic. Okay, let's move on to this next one was a lot from auctions for you. It was a book lot, but there were some toys that were also included. It was $43 is what it ended up selling for for 12 items. So um, she said she has sold all of the items except for three. 
And this is a Star Trek The Next Generation. I'm not sure what it is. I think it's a game, but it sold for $35.99. And then also this Lord of the Rings, I think it's a role-playing game as well, sold for $75. So just those two items. She had 10 other items that still sold from that lot and only has three left to sell. So that was an incredible buy. Um, you can definitely, definitely buy things um, at YouTube auctions. So the gal that I'm talking about is Flippin' Hot Finds. And she said that she sources 70%. This is what she messaged me. 70% of her items that she has for sale have come from Donatella Bottolino and auctions for you. She sources primarily from their auctions. So that is incredible. She also shared this lot, okay? Um, again, this is Slippin' Hot Finds. And she bought a jewelry lot from Donna. And she's like, it was incredible. It just kept giving. This lot just kept giving. So I'm going to show you a bunch of items from this lot. And this is definitely educational for me because some of these brands and things I've never even heard of. This one is called... Um, Cecil Jan Janine Janine <laughs> I can't even say it Jan Jan G ah okay this is what it looks like wait wait over here <laughs> it's a it's a it's a bird it's a bird on a, a bracelet but the best part is she had the matching necklace and she could not um it sold more than 90 days ago for $175 so that was a part of this lot also but anyway this bracelet sold for $47 plus shipping. Here is a set of estate cultured pearls. And these sold for $89.50. This is a vintage army cavalry. Um, it's a pin. It's a double pin. And this only sold for $15.90. But I mean, you've got to look at the big picture. Um, you're getting some big money items. You're getting some bread and butter. And really, sometimes Donna just throws stuff in a tote or in a box. And she's like this. And you don't know what you're going to get. Sometimes it's a home run. And sometimes it's bread and butter. You just don't know. But she really scored super big on this lot. This one is a rose gold filled um, brooch pin. It's Art Deco. Sold for $22.45. And for those of you guys that like jewelry, this is fantastic. This is a cultured pearl silver tone tie tack lapel pin. This one sold for $15.81. These are Disney and they're made by Napier. And that's all I got in the photo. So sorry. I think this one might have sold on maybe Mercari uh, for $39. And a goodie Brett was thrown in there. You guys know. I love Goody Bretts. These are the ones that are a bolo, but she only had one, but she knew to list it high. Um, this is a three inch stay tight clasp clip hair bret. So you see how it has the tortoise shell look to it and it's three inches long. That is what you're looking for. Um, I recently just sold, I think three or four of them for like 80 bucks. So she sold one for $23 plus shipping. And this was mixed into one of her jewelry boxes. This one here is a vintage, oh, I can never say this word, Savorsky. I know I said it wrong, sorry. Uh, crystal and black enamel necklace. And this sold for $70. So definitely picking up some amazing items. Her cost of goods was approximately $2.25 each. So um, just, just incredible. I mean, $2.25, even in the ones that sold for 15 or 20 bucks is still really a great return on your money. All right. She bought a watch lot from T and she got this Casio watch and it sold for $49.99 plus shipping. And this one I have shared before, but it was so cool. And this one sold a while ago, but, um, I think she pulled this one from her Instagram, but it is super, super cool. And it is a Led Zeppelin watch. And it sold for $169. And this one also may have been a Mercari sale. All right. So the next lot, um, this was a die cast car plane lot from Auctions for You. And 
She said she still has a bunch of the corgis. Corgis? Corgis? I'm not sure how to say it. The high-end ones are still currently listed. But she sold this right here. It's a 1978 two-tone Corvette. And this one sold for $25. And she also sold this Brooklyn Models 1952 Studebaker Commander. It's cut off. Um, I think it's just another model car. And that one sold for $60. So I'm not sure how many items came in that lot total and what she paid for it. But um, definitely uh, she's going to make some money for sure. Now, these right here came from Donatella Bottolino's auctions. They are Kurt Adler ornaments, and they sold within three hours of being listed. So whenever things sell super fast, it's like you either priced it perfectly or you priced it too low. But these are um, peanuts. Uh, so this is Lucy and Snoopy, and um, this is what they look like. So it looks like 25 each total $50 for both. So uh, may have undersold those. I'm not sure. She's pretty good at doing her homework. So she may have just had them priced just right. Okay. Do you want to see one of mine? All right. So Noel Farm Girl Scavenger. Um, this is what her channel looks like. Definitely go and subscribe to her. But she was in Donna's auction and Donna was doing... Um, $50 plush lots. Okay. It was $50 free shipping. And it was just a special offer that she had going on. And Noelle's like, send one to Courtney from me. So she sent me this plush lot. And then me and Noelle did an unboxing together. You'll have to go check out that channel. But I pulled out this awesome popple. I could not believe it. It had the original bottle and I, I was just like, this is a popple. Like, oh my goodness, it's a popple. Um, I sold it for $75. I did price it high. Um, I had it at $150, but I was running a 35% off sale. And it was down to $97.50. And somebody offered me $75. And I went ahead and took it. But it is so cute. Look how cute it is. Uh, all right, nostalgic all the way. Nostalgic, nostalgia. <laughs> All right. Um, the next item I got from Auctions for You. And it is out of a mystery box that I ordered from her. And I can't remember if it was, I think it was a $150 box, if I remember correctly. But um, I'm still listing the items from it. I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm going to have a full video of everything that I got in that box eventually. Um, I've got to get everything listed. It was just jam packed with a bunch of smalls and I love smalls, but they take me a long time to research and get everything listed. And I'm currently in the process of getting everything from my garage to the basement so I can pull my car into the garage. We just had snow. So I'm like, I did not get my car in the garage before the first snow. So I'm a little bit like ah. trying to get that done. But anyway, this is one of the items that I got in that mystery box. It's a Hawthorne Village Pirates of the Caribbean set 2007 Cursed Pirates Jack Sparrow. You guys, this sold so fast. I took a best offer of $80. I'm thinking I probably could have held out for more because it sold so quickly. But um, $150 into the whole lot. I've already, I think... With what I have listed, I think I've already made my money back. So everything should be profit from here on out. And it was a loaded up box. So you guys will see that in a future video. Okay, this next item. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. Okay, so it is a silk tablecloth. I need to stay over here so I can put my screenshots over here. <laughs> um, it's a silk tablecloth. And she said the reason that she bid so high on this is because it had the original price tag from an antique store of $350 on it. So I'm going to show you that tag. So she paid up for it at $60. She put it up on an eBay auction and she started the auction at $250 and it sold for $425. So $60 into $425. Oh, 
<laughs> is that incredible or what? How beautiful is that? It's a uh, Chinese dragon pattern, hand embroidered silk piano or table cover. It's stunning. Stunning. So I've got some close up pictures and a picture of that tag. All right. This next item came from um, the scarf or the, I'm sorry, the table. I keep wanting to call it a scarf. The tablecloth that came from Donatella Bottolino's auction. Okay. So this next one uh, came from auctions for you. And this one comes from Mam and Paps Finds eBay store. And they bought this whiskey jug and it cost them approximately $6 and it sold within 10 hours for $99.99 plus shipping. It says CA.1900 Wise's Old Irish Whiskey Salt Glaze Jug. Um, seven and three fourth inch cork, two small chips sold as is. So it even had some chips in it and sold that quickly for that much money. So that is incredible. All right. So um, Mom Knows Treasures, who is a Bolo Buddies member, um, all of the people that are participating in this will be linked down below in the description. If they have a YouTube channel, they'll be linked down below. If they have an eBay store and they want me to include it down below, I will. Some of the people want to remain private. Um, they're just sharing to share. So you won't see everybody down there, but um, some of them you will. So be sure to go down and check out their eBay stores, hit that little heart and follow them to see what new items they're listing. All right. So mom knows treasure. She has a YouTube channel and I'm going to show you a video from her. It'll either be before this or after this. I'm not sure. So um, I'm going to add that footage in later. So she purchased all of these items from Auctions For You. So remember how I told you that um, Auctions For You picked up the huge DJ lot of 10,000 albums? So Mom Knows Treasure says she has bought over 500 albums from Auctions For You. And she just keeps selling them, buying them and selling them. So this is a little screenshot she made for me. And you can see that these are a lot of bread and butter items. Um, she told me, let me see if here, if I can find where she told me approximately what she pays for the records. She said records are approximately $1.50 to $3 each, depending on how high um, the auction goes. So typically T will auction off the records and then the people in the chat are bidding on those items. So this is just a screenshot right here of um, a bunch of records that she sold. Now she does have big money records. These are more of her bread and butter. So she's just making a point that the bread and butter records all add up with this post. Now, here are some more records. This is another screenshot. So you've got 16 and this is the buyer paid shipping on all these 16, 22, um, 18, 18, 13, 14. So, you know, $1.50, $2 into those are great bread and butter margins. All right. This next item, ooh, it's pretty. Um, this one came from Donatella Bottolino's auction and Christopher, I buy chit his, um, eBay store is amazing steals and deals. And he bought this teapot for $30 and he sold it in one day for $175. Oh, it's incredible, right? You just want to rub it. Like the genie in the bottle, you know? I don't know. Anyway, uh, this next one came from a mystery jewelry box from Donatella Bottolino. And his cost of goods was approximately $2. And it's a retired James Avery 925 Sterling Garden Angel brooch pin. And um, it came with the original box. And I'm going to guess that, you know, if you look at that, it just look it doesn't look special, really. You know, you wouldn't think it's 925. So it's probably just thrown into a jewelry box. Donna doesn't do a good job of checking her stuff. She just throws it in boxes. Um, and that's kind of what she's known for. And. I think that's why people are so drawn to her jewelry apart. Whenever she has jewelry, it always does like really well um, because people get really great deals. So he sold this for a hundred bucks and got it for $2. <laughs> Wait until you see the next one. All right. This one came from auctions for you. This is also from Christopher. 
Um, it is a Texas brooch. It's signed and hand. It's a vintage Texas flag brooch pin, American rhinestone enamel jewelry. He bought 10 brooches from auctions for you for $30. So $3 each. And this one sold for 115. You guys, I mean, you can totally source at YouTube auctions and make money. I mean, oh my goodness. Are you seeing this? It's incredible. I mean, I know that you guys that watch my what solds on a regular basis. I'm like, I bought this from Donatella Bottolino. I bought this from auctions for you. You guys see it all the time. But I buy a lot of mystery boxes. So you see a lot of my bread and butter, you know, like I'll have a big money item and then I'll have a bunch of bread and butter and a big money. And then, you know, like it's all mixed up, but it all adds up. And what I'm sourcing the items for is just incredible. Hi, Courtney. It's Yvonne, Mom Knows Treasures. I wanted to show my bolos from Donna and T. Um, my first bolo is this record. It's not this record, but it's a Tommy Boy record. I purchased that in a lot of 25 for $80. Uh, so it, it was less than $4 and I was able to flip that for $45 plus $4.25 shipping. And from Donna, I've purchased tons of ornaments. I was able to purchase these for about $3 each and I was able to flip four of these for $44 plus $5 shipping. So I made a lot of money on ornaments. And you guys go sub up Donna and T and see you guys around. Bye -bye. This one's pretty cool. Six items for $20. Um, so approximately $3 each. Sold within 24 hours for $45 plus shipping. If it, it is a Emma Bridgewater mug. And this is what it looks like. It says, um, cats and dogs, greyhound discontinued mug. Okay. Either way. I mean, they are both pumping out amazing inventory, right? So they are buying from storage units. They are buying from estates. Um, I know Donatella Bottolino used to own a thrift store. So she has a lot of connections from people who call her up when they have big wholesale buyouts. And I know she sources a lot like that. T has just, I mean, she goes out there and she just finds the deals and they just bring incredible stuff. All right, so this one is from Mom's Nose Treasures again. These are ornaments that she purchased from um, Donatella Bottolino. She said approximately $2 a piece for the ornaments. And you can see here um, bread and butter, but you're turning two bucks into, and all the buyer paid shipping on all these. So two into 12, two into 15. Um, that's a four pack into 44. 14, 980, 18. Um, so these are all ornaments that she has picked up from Donatella Bottolino's auctions. Now, this one, it says Miami Sound Machine, self-titled 1980. This is a record and she bought this from auctions for you. Now she said she did pay up a little more for this one. Um, she said she paid $80 for 25 records. Um, so $4 and 25 cents each. She said normally that is, she's normally in the dollar 50 to uh, $3 a piece range for the records. But for some reason, a lot of people were bidding up this auction. This one record sold for $52 and 48 cents plus shipping. So vinyl records, something that I just, I don't want to test it. I, it scares me. It's kind of like breakables. Like I have no interest in it. It just does not interest me. But Mom Knows Treasures like does amazing with it and so many other resellers. So that's what's so great about reselling is we can all just kind of pick and choose what we want to sell and do what we love, you know. So uh, definitely check out Mom Knows Treasures YouTube channel for more tips and tricks about records. This next one comes from Farm Girl Scavenger Noel. And Noel and I both talk about listing your items competitively, but on the higher end and not racing to the bottom. Because when you race to the bottom, it brings the market down on our items. And then we cannot sell our items for as much. Um, here is an example. 
She bought this brooch from Donatella Bottolino and she did pay up for the item. She paid $50 for it. Somebody from Italy bought it for $116.86. They were all in for $162.80. And I'm going to show you her screenshot right here. This is her Instagram. And do you see this lovely post? She does posts like this on her Instagram constantly of things she sold. She gives you all the information where she got it, what she paid for it, what it sold for. There's a picture, super educational Instagram account. Um, I am so bad about posting on Instagram. She is incredible. So go follow her on Instagram for sure. And definitely check out her YouTube channel. But here is what she wrote. She said, do the research. She said, I paid 50 for this and bought it from my good friend Donatella Bottolino on one of her auctions. It sold in six days. It is very rare to find one of these pieces in an animal form. I listed it high. If you don't value yourself and your things, you will not get what they are worth. So again, she's just saying, you know, don't undersell your items. Don't be afraid to price them a little bit high. Um, offer best offers. You know, there's create sales, but you know, but it's a signed ART art, Arthur pepper underwater fish shell gold tone brooch rare. That's her title. Okay. This next item, who's who in rock video. This is an MTV, um, video guide, second print. And this one was purchased from auctions for you. His cost of goods for this was around $8 and he sold this for $49 and 99 cents plus uh, shipping. And this next item is a vintage. Um, it's a pocket knife. And be careful with uh, knives. I don't think you can ship them internationally. So make sure you turn off international shipment for knives. Don't quote me on that, but that's what I think. Um, this came from a lot from Donatella Bottolino, approximately $7 in this lot or for this item and took a best offer of $50. Hello, hello, hello. We're back. We're back. We're back. Welcome in everyone. I'm Donna and this is T. Hi guys. T. We have YouTube channels and uh, Courtney is so nice to have put together this uh, um, collaboration collaboration a video where some of her viewers get to share some of their uh purchases from t and i we go live every day uh on our channels either my channel or t auctions for you and we cater to the reseller so we usually bring big lots of things that you can turn around and sell in your ebay poshmark macari we save a lot of the legwork for you we buy estates and storage units and we try to bring you the best of the best so that you can save your time and not have to go thrifting or hunting for your items and guess what we ship them right to your house with free shipping with a $40 purchase so I hope that you will come to one of our auctions we wanted to share with you that um, everyone that shared a bolo with Courtney um, in this video that you're watching or watched, I'm not sure where she's going to be placing this. I think she's placing it at the end. Uh, T and I are going to be offering up a special treat to the people that took the time to share their bolos. Uh, we offer cottage cash because I'm coming to you from my reseller cottage and T offers T-Bucks. <laughs> bucks. And what that is, is that um, it's sort of like going to a restaurant and buying an entree and getting one free or getting one half price. So for the people that shared on Courtney's video, we want to thank you so much for participating in it. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be offering you uh, with the purchase of $25 of either cottage cash or T-Bucks. <laughs> We're going to be giving you a $50 value. So with a $25 purchase, you're going to get $25 worth of free merchandise. So you know how to get in touch with us because all of the people that shared bolos this time are all our good friends and followers and part of our community of resellers. So please reach out to us if you shared a bolo from me and T. That means that you're going to get an opportunity to get 
$25 from me and $25 from T. That's after you purchase $25 in cottage cash. Um, so reach out to us either by our phone numbers or our email addresses, which are always linked down below in every single one of our videos. And we hope to see you live. T, do you thanks. have anything you want to add? <laughs> no, thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. And Courtney, thanks as always for being a great support. Thank you, Courtney. We love you. The whole community loves you. Mwah. Yeah. Cheers. Thank you. Bye. Bye, guys. All right, you guys. So let me know in the comments, have you ever sourced on YouTube? And how did it go? Were you successful? Did you find some big money bolos? Um, I, even if you buy a mystery box and it is packed with items that sell for higher amounts and bread and butter items, all of those items add up. So you have to look at the big picture of what did you pay for the box or what did you pay for everything and how much did you make at the end? So one great thing about YouTube auctions is when I'm sitting and I'm uh, shipping or I'm listing, I have them playing in the background. And if I hear something that I know is a bolo, I can be like, hmm. And then I can pop over on my browser and I can watch that lot. You know what I mean? So it's a great way to source from home. <laughs> like I don't need to be sourcing anything. Oh my goodness. I've got um, a lot right now that actually Noel Farm Girl Scavenger sent me. And if you guys watched Donatella Bottolino um, and tea auctions for you, this was a lot that Donatella Bottolino was auctioning. And it, I'm laughing because it's pretty hilarious. It was this doll lot. And they're like monster high and there may be some brats. I can't even remember, but I was like, nobody was bidding. So I'm like, I'll definitely buy this lot. Like I can totally make money on that. So I started at like $5 and I went up to like 25 bucks. And then I was like, okay, that's a lot of work. I don't need inventory. I'm going to stop. And then everybody started bidding and she kept adding stuff to the lot. You know what I mean? There's some doll clothes at the end, which I haven't unboxed it yet. It's still sitting upstairs. I'm going to get to it eventually, but I'm really kind of excited about it. Um, but anyway, uh, so there's this bidding war going on. And Noel, Farm Girl Scavenger, is bidding against, I can't remember who, and they're bidding, bidding, bidding. And I think it went up to like 140 some dollars and I'm like oh my goodness you know I'm like what is in this lot you know like I know there's some vintage Barbie stuff um but Noelle bought it and she gifted it to me so I am gonna have an unboxing of that coming in the near future but some of these dolls look like the cheat on like you know like a by an animal or maybe a person. <laughs> oh my gosh, it was the funniest lot ever. But I know that um, like Monster High and stuff, you can part them out, their arms, their legs, like people need those replacement parts. And you guys know I love to part things out. But I know it's going to be some work on my end. But I really want to bring you guys an educational video. So I'm kind of waiting until I'm ready and patient and ready to really like do the research and bring you guys the goods for that. So that will be coming soon. Shout out to Noelle Farm Girl Scavenger for sending me that super excited about that. Um, I also have another box coming from Donatella Bottolino. Um, it's a $200 box. It's going to be a mystery box. Um, that is from I Buy Chit, C-H-I-T. Um, it was a gift. He uh, sent her the money and said, send Courtney a dibble box. And I'm like, oh, so I'm excited to get that. That's going to be on my channel. I'll be unboxing that. I'm still currently working on a box that I bought from auctions for you. Um, you saw one of my items earlier that I showed you the $80 item. So working on that lot, super excited about that great lot. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have some more unboxings from both auctions for you and Donatella Bottolino coming in the future. But if you want to see some other things that I have purchased from them, um, you can go back on my channel and if you type in auctions for you or if you type in, type in Donatella Bottolino, it will pull up unboxing videos where I show you 
the unboxing. And as I'm unboxing it, I'm popping up screenshots of how I listed everything. Now, these are older videos. So a lot of these items have already sold. And as you see my videos, my bread and butter and my big money bolo videos, you're going to hear me say, um, I bought this from Donatella Bottolino or I bought this from auctions for you. And I know a lot of you guys have already gone over and are buying from them on a regular basis because I see you in the chat. And um, it's so nice to see all of you guys in the chat. We get to chat it up when we're over there at the auction together. So thank you guys so much for going over and checking them out. I will link them down below along with everybody that shared that wants to be mentioned. So check out those channels and those eBay stores down below. Thank you guys so much for being here. Let me know, did you learn something new from this video because um, there were definitely some really cool bolo items and I watch their auctions on a regular basis and they have so much variety in the things that they sell because they source so many different places. They are in two different states. Um, so they're sourcing in different areas. And T is even driving back to New York where she used to live. And she's buying stuff there and bringing it back here. I think she's in North Carolina now. Donna's in Florida. They recently just met up and did like a month long trip together where they were sourcing and um, they were staying at T's father's house and they were going live together. It was so fun, but um, they're just incredible ladies and they have become really great friends. Um, I started out buying from them three years ago and we've just you know, build a friendship over the years. Like I have built friendships with a lot of YouTubers, but um, Donna and T, they're special. They are just, they're great people. So, and I have always been 100% satisfied with everything that I've purchased from them. So um, I, this is not sponsored. This is just me sharing with you guys bolos to teach you guys another place to source. So um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something new. Let me know down in the comments, which was your favorite bolo. All right, you guys, thanks for watching.